For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a professional snowboarder, to travel the world, ride with the best, and grow as a rider. However, it all started from a much more simple and different background. There is a really big gap between like a Yorkshire person and like your typical snow sports person from abroad and the main difference is probably my accent, like I go away and everyone always like laughs at my accent and can't understand what I'm saying sometimes. Even like in personalities, like someone who's grown up in a mountain are completely different to like someone that I come home to, like it's a completely different world. Although I was nervous to compete in my first ever competition abroad at the age of nine, I came away with four gold medals, which was a huge achievement to say I'd never been on a proper mountain before. I think my mum and dad probably took me to the dry slope, or maybe like 500 to 1,000 times. I have no idea. When I was 15, I started doing like the World Cups and the Olympic circuit and that's the first time I realised that you needed to do gymnastics and go to the gym as part of my snowboarding training to like improve my muscular strength, especially to like keep away from injuries and things. I'd say I spend about five to six days training a week. You go snowboarding on the good weather days and when it's a bad weather day you go to the gym and you're training in the gym. Gymnastics has definitely helped me loads with my snowboarding and I'm really, really glad that I did it and we still have to do it now. There are restrictions from learning on dry slope because you only have like one small jump, whereas we don't have like a mountain in our back garden. So when you do eventually go to the mountains, there are so much like more varieties of jumps and rails and things that you're not used to back in the UK. But it is you. I think that the results I've got over the last few seasons and the tricks that I've learned have definitely helped to earn my spot in the sport and put my name on the map so I'm looking forward to see how far I can go with snowboarding.